hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn about the powershell command so let's get started so introduction to the powershell commands here is after completing introduction to the powershell you were able to learn about the search and the discover external command how you can search or the discover for your the external commands and the understand how to get the help for the powershell commands and the third option is to understand the powershell command light so after watching this video you were able to search and discover the external command you were able to understand how to use the help in the powershell command and the third thing is the powershell command light syntax so you can able to learn it now here is the what is the external command so external command here is the explanation like the traditional command line tool sc.exe netsh.exe reg registry exe can still be used in the powershell so these command run in the separate process command can be found using the get help get command and difficult to the discover due to no standard naming conversion or the standard syntax sorry difficult to discover due to the standard naming conversion or the syntax search for the external command so external command can be used can be found by using the get command and here is the example uh, i can show you this example quickly so here is the powershell i open let's use the get hyphen command and hyphen name and the star whatever you would like to search here s e r v i c e service and the star value just put enter so that output is related to whatever name is matching with the services with the name so i search command related to services where the service is involved in the command so i'm getting the output for all these if you seen is the get asr services so service is mentioned here and that's why it's giving the command from where this command is coming the source is az that is a azure recovery services azure resource so uh, the command the output we get wherever the service name is include in all the commands and here these are the alias and these are the functions from the powershell so you can search any commands by searching using the get command and the services let's back to the again our ppt so here is a external command with the native command here what you can use in the uh, in, in cmd ping the loopback hyphen a hyphen n hyphen one so that will give you like a reachable for your device status or you can uh, do the ping here mention the host name hyphen a hyphen n hyphen one the similar commands you can use in the test connection count one so let's try this command also and how we can use okay so here i open the powershell sorry the command prompt and let test with the our powershell this command so ping i am going to use my the host name so the device name is this let's copy this host name and use ping host name hyphen a hyphen n and look back for the one so here i am getting the output the similar commands you can use inside the powershell and let's test it okay so here is the powershell console let's try with the test hyphen connection and hyphen count and a one so we can get the okay so i did a mistake so it will give you the computer name so it's asking for the computer name let me just enter the computer name and that's all so it's given to you the source and the ping status or what you can use the test connection hyphen you can use the computer so UMP UT a computer name that's command let should come automatically computer name and paste the host name where you where you need the test connection okay come on I want to be make it big hyphen count and the one so that's how you can use with the PowerShell and uh, the CMD as well so let's move it to again back to the slide in the similar way you can use the copy copy item and uh, the so interface so here is a again example for the so the interface and yeah let me show you again on the powershell how you can use it so let's go for the cls 
and how we can use this command with the PowerShell. So I'm going to write it down the same thing is dollar result result equal to net sh interface IP show config. So now this value will store in this variable result and uh, let's see the dollar result. Oh, come on. The dollar result and let's check get data get type close and then the base type dot name and see the result is in a array and now what I need I need the result from inside the array how we can get it dollar result bracket and just enter to dot three and now we are getting the our DHCP is enabled yes and the interface type is a equal to five so that's how you can use it but data is a is return in a unstructured array from the unstructured array you array you can uh, use the command and you can pull the data now let's understand what is the command length so here I write it down a command that is used remove item hyphen path c colon temp hyphen force so that command will remove entire data from the temp and what does it mean this part is called command name and this is like a verb noun naming and this is verb this is noun and the parameters to control the command let of the behavior so this is a your command let parameter so this is a basic command name and this is a parameter what you are passing in the command let and now this is a parameter name path and this is a parameter value what we called and this is a switch parameter so that's called a switch parameter and now here this enter says is a dash is procedure to the all parameters name so when we are writing the command we should be make sure what we are writing command name is this the command name and the inside the two things are involved the verb and noun and let and the rest of the things is a command parameters and this is a native powershell command and does not launch the separate process so it's not going to launch any separate process let's see this the command let example so get process and you will get the all the process or restart services name is puller and the verbus so you can use for this command to stop any of services these are like a example for the command let uh, command let example or you can use the test connection hyphen computer and the name of the computer and the count equal to quiet or true now get command discover commands that is comes under the command let function script aliases and uh, show the command let syntax and also discover the external commands can be dot exe dot cpl dot msc let's see the get command so I shows you the get command what are the commands are available by using the get command you will get all these commands if you want to filter filter it just hyphen name and filter that command now wildcard in the naming so you can use the wildcard get command hyphen name and the users as I shows you to filter with the services or with the users or you can use anything else now here is a list command let by the verbs so related to verb you can search by using the command get command hyphen verb get using the command let by noun so get command hyphen noun and the services so it will give you the services by the noun and if you want to show me that I can show you so here you can just write a simple command get hyphen command hyphen it's a noun and you can type the n and automatically it will take in and the service and the enter so you will get related to the services all the commands are available get services new services restart services resume services set services start services stop services and the suspend services so you will get all the command related to the service so that's how you can search the command by the noun let's understand the list of a command so get command hyphen the command type is the cmd command let's so you can search in that 
now here is a single command command is like get command hyphen name directory you can use that and the show now finally in the show command so show command command let is the launching the gui command browser or the populate parameters and the insert or the execute so type the show command show commands can be shows in your isc mode as well so in isc mode you can see in this commands now the start typing the commands and you will get like a uh, get services and then if you type the command dc the computer name and you can run in the execution let me show you in the powershell how you can do that okay so i open my the powershell here is a lot of command already open let's type the services and check how we can use it service and here is a lot of services are available related to so let me go and search get services cat hyphen service and just select this and show the detail now or you can directly you can insert this from here double click show the command okay and that is if you uh, if you are not aware directly for the command so you can search that and can use the command uh, my the laptop is hanging something so either i can show you just wait now here just type the computer name wherever you want to run that command suppose i want to run this command on my computer even i don't know the host name let me see the host name if i can get it no i need to open the okay i have i think copy yeah this is what the my host name execute include or this is not required the display name the default computer name the display name is a default input object is not required or if you want just can execute this command from here so that will execute and it will give you the output common parameters let me insert this something wrong with this okay so i'm trying to insert this command or run the script the script is not running even there is some problem so let's uh, the copy uh, use the copy command and just control v here so you will get the uh, services here and now execute this so you you get the uh, output related to the services and here is the output so you can even just uh, copy and paste the command if the insert button is not working so you can just do the copy okay so let's understand the other part is related to your uh, the command let syntax with the command help so you can get the command get command a win get and the syntax and how the syntax is using the syntax is the command name require the parameter name require the parameter of value and these are the optional name for the parameters and syntax will be something like this get command hyphen name add computer hyphen syntax and the syntax legend that you can use verb noun your the command name a required parameters a required the param parameters value the option parameters and the required value parameter uh, the name options and the multiple parameter values and now the command let syntax name how we can use it. that is for get command hyphen computer add name and the syntax and what else we can use the syntax required parameters so here is the required parameters and uh, what are the required parameters this is the required parameter name and the values and we have the optional parameters and value which you can optionally you can define or not and now the switch parameters so this is a like optional parameter this is the switch parameter and the operational parameters name so this is the simple syntax now here is the optional parameters and you can give the uh, optional parameters and the required parameters so these are like a syntax for your the powershell when you are working you will understand how to use it just i make a uh, make a slides to make you understand easily the multiple parameters also you can define by using the this multiple parameters value and uh, the parenthesis 
and here is a uh, command let syntax diagram for the parameter sets like get help hyphen name stop services and the syntax what the syntax it will give it is here the example it is designed define stop services id either you can give that is value in int or the pass through force what if and the confirm or the common parameters that you can define so that's how you can understand the command let syntax and note the id name and the input object parameter cannot be used together are the required value uh, only for the id and the input object so you can use only the uh, id common name and the parameters so you cannot use all three all together or you have to use only one either id either name either the object input and here is like the uh, the position with the named parameter syntax and this is like with your the stop services so if you are not entering the hyphen id directly you can use the id number here and this is what the syntax so if you are stopping any process enter the hyphen id and the id and even without the id parameters you can pass that now Thank you guys. I hope you understand something about this PowerShell commandlet and I will be coming up uh, with the new video soon. Thank you so much.